Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region. From Uganda, the Gulu Magistrate Court has again adjourned the treason case against Shadow the East Member of Parliament, Robert Chagulani, aka Bobby Wine, and 33 others to January 10, 2019. They were Monday appearing before Grand Magistrate Isaac Keen to formation. However, some of the accused did not appear. News from Kenya, a Nairobi court has declined to suspend orders barring public service vehicles from accessing the Nairobi city center. 21 Matatu circles had moved to court seeking to have the ban lifted, saying the decision is discriminatory and was made unilaterally without consultations with the stakeholders. Justice Pauline Nyamwea instead directed that the matter be served to the respondents before an inter-party hearing set for Thursday this week. They argued that they action is inconsiderate as there was no study or effort to ascertain whether the designated points can accommodate the number of matatus before redirecting there. They added that the ban will provide an avenue for chaos and anarchy as the rule will be survival for the fittest, which is counterproductive in a civilized society. Moving on to Rwanda, Rwanda National Police on Sunday launched a nationwide campaign against radicalization and efforts to cement the community policing ideology against the transnational organized crime. The campaign conducted simultaneously in the five districts of Nyarugenge, Gasabo, Kichunkiro, Kamonyi, and Gatsibo seeks to educate the young people, particularly the Muslim faithful, against extremism. Commission of Police, Dennis Basabose, the Commission of Counterterrorism in RNP observe that the Islamic faith is very important, adding that it greatly contributes to the national values. He was speaking to Muslim youth, teachers, as well as Islamic leaders at Magengo Mosque in Nyarugenge, where he urged them to desist and condemn jihadism. He, however, commended the role of Muslim leadership in Rwanda in educating Islamic community on the true meaning of their faith and mindset change. News from Burundi, the African Union has won Burundi against moves of jeopardizing peace efforts after an international arrest warrant was issued for ex-leader Pierre Abuyoya and 16 other officials. They are accused of being behind the 1993 assassination of the country's first elected Hutu president. The killing of Malshia and Dadae triggered a brutal ethnic civil war. Buyoya, an ethnic Tusi, says it is a ploy to steer up divisions and shift attention from the current crisis. Buyoya, who has seized power twice in the last three decades with the backing of the army, is a respected diplomatic figure on the continent. He was involved in the process that ended the civil war and led to the election in 2005 of former Hutu rebel leader Pierre Nkurunziza as president. Finally, from Southeast Sudan, North South Sudan Opposition Alliance, Sawasa, cannot be headed by a man blacklisted by the United Nations, say the statement attributed to Gabriel Gangson faction. Following the contested election of Peter Gadet Yaka at the head of the Sawasa on Friday, 30th November, the opposition umbrella is now divided into two factions as the former chairman, Gangson, refuses to accept the result of the vote. Now, Peter Gatidetti's supporters point out that the term of the chairperson is limited to six months and for one unrenewable mandate. Also, they underline that he won with the support of a majority five of eight votes. But Chanson warned against Gatidetti's election, pointing that he is under any video sanctions decided by the Security Council in July 2015. That was the headlining news across the East African region.